I've been testing these ND filters over this last month for the Mini 4 Pro, and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you why you need ND filters, when you should use them, and is this pack any good? ND filters are essential for the Mini 4 Pro. Just like the DJI Mini 3 Pro, these should be one of the main accessories that you pick up for your drone. And the reason is, on the front of the Mini 4 Pro, the camera, it's a fixed f1.7 aperture. If you're filming outside in bright daylight conditions on a normal camera, you would never have your aperture at f1.7 unless you're going for that shallow depth of field. You would have it normally between f4 and f11. But on the Mini 4 Pro, you can't adjust that aperture. You are fixed at f1.7. So what an ND filter does is allows you to actually reduce the amount of light going into this camera. This is why it's essential for this drone. On the Mavic series, you have an adjustable aperture. So you can adjust the aperture on the Mavic series. So ND filters aren't as essential for those drones, but for the mini drones, they really are. And what happens if you don't use an ND filter? On the Mini 4 Pro, the software will adjust the shutter speed to keep the exposure correct. And this means that shutter speed is going to be really high. Now, the higher the shutter speed, that sharper the image. So it's not going to look natural. It's not going to look realistic. There's going to be a lot of digital processing there, really over sharpened, not natural. This video I'm filming right now, it has a low shutter speed, so everything looks natural. If I had a really high shutter speed, it would look like this, really not good. It would look terrible, not natural, really overprocessed. Let's change it back to a low shutter speed. And you see, this is the difference we want. But on the Mini 4 Pro, it's going to automatically have a high shutter speed and be really over sharpened if you don't use an ND filter. So when we put an ND filter on, we can now reduce the shutter speed to have much more of a natural look. So what should your shutter speed be? Well, the industry standard states that you should follow the 180 degree shutter speed rule, which states that it should just be double your frame rate. So if you're filming at 4K 30 as your frame rate, your shutter speed wants to be double that. So it will be one over 60. If you're filming at 4K 25 as your frame rate, your shutter speed double that one over 50. And if you're going for slow motion, so 4K 60, you want your shutter speed to be double that. So 120 should be your shutter speed. Now that is a 180 degree rule that states that that is what the shutter speed should be. Now I've found over flying these drones for years now, it doesn't have to be bang on that value. So don't be stressing out if you don't hit it. As long as you have a low shutter speed, so it could be one over 100, 120. As long as it's low, it's gonna look great and natural and much better than without using any ND filter at all. And then the software will bump that shutter speed up to like one over 2000 or one over 3000. It's not going to look natural at all. So don't think, right, I have to hit one over 60 if I'm filming in 4K 30. Don't be stressing out. Just have a low shutter speed and your footage is going to look great. And if you enjoyed this video so far, just do me a favor and hit that like button. It really does help out get videos like this to more people. And if you like tech and drone content, it's a really busy time of the year. I've got loads of videos coming out really soon. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Now let's talk about these ND filters and when and why you should use them. So I've been testing this pack by Freewell and I think it's fantastic. It's so much better in terms of value than the DJI ND filters. So the filters that you get from DJI, you only get three. And every single ND filter you use, as the number gets higher, that's going to reduce more light coming into that sensor. So you want quite a vast range of ND filters because the lighting conditions are gonna be changing all the time. So in this pack, rather than just get three ND filters, you're going to get 16 different types of ND filters which are gonna cover you for all different lighting conditions. It's what I think is fantastic about this. So for example, if it's a cloudy day, I could get the ND16 filter and put this onto my drone and that's going to cover you for majority of the times it's quite a dull overcast day. And if it's high noon, really bright conditions, you're going to want a strong ND filter. So we could get the ND64 or the ND128. Put that onto your drone, go onto Pro Settings, reduce that shutter speed that we just talked about, and look in the bottom right hand corner at your exposure. Is it round about zero? Does it look too bright still? In which case, we're going to need a stronger ND filter. So you could use the ND256, or there's even an ND512. So it covers you for pretty much every daylight condition. And if it's sunset, so there's still quite a bit of light there, but it's not dark yet, you could go back to the ND16, 
put that on and get some fantastic looking sunsets like I've been using here. This video is sponsored by my friends at Artlist and they are like the gold standard for a music platform. It's actually where I got my music and sound effects from for all of the clips at the start of this video. And I didn't have to search long to find a good music track. It was the first track I actually saw on their website and they update their music every single day. You can search for any different genre, drag that straight onto your video timeline and then you can begin editing with high quality music. And sound effects are really important in immersing that viewer and they have thousands to choose from. They even have a Call of Duty inspired collection. I use the beach collection, so for waves, wind noises, these were perfect for the different video clips I had. And again, they're all unlimited downloads. And prices start from just $8.49 a month. And with my link, you're gonna get an extra two months free on top of your subscription. You can also get a max plan as well, which aside from music and sound effects, you're also going to get stock video footage, plugins, titles, and a video editor. I highly recommend checking out Artlist. They save me so much time and the quality is literally spot on. Go and check it out. But this pack's fantastic because it also covers you when you're flying over water as well. So you get ND polarizers. These are going to reduce reflections on surfaces and water. So when you're flying your drone over sea, over water, over a lake, put one of these on that will reduce those reflections. They also go up to an ND16, up to an ND256. And you can also shoot with these in both vertical and horizontal. You can adjust the wheel to adjust the strength, but they're already set in place for you. So you can just leave it as is and you're going to get the very best in terms of polarization. If you like doing long exposure photos, but in the daytime, so you want to freeze that action, you could use the ND1000 on your drone to get some fantastic looking photos. But I also love this because it comes with a mist filter as well. So if you want to get that dreamy look, just like you're seeing on the screen now, this looks fantastic. It's round about sunset time. I just put this onto my drone and get fantastic results with the mist filter. You've also got a light pollution filter as well. So at night time, if you're filming at night, just put this on. You don't want to use any of the other ND filters at night time because you don't want to be reducing light when it's dark. You want to have as much light hitting that sensor as possible. So using this light pollution filter, this is just going to reduce some of the artificial lights, especially around UV lights to get you a clearer picture. So I was using this for all of these nighttime videos on my drone. And it comes with a UV filter as well. So I would keep this on the drone all the time when traveling around. And then I would then switch to one of the other ND filters depending on the lighting conditions. And the reason why is, did you know on the front of the DJI drone, if we just take this off, this is what it comes with. This doesn't protect the actual glass at all it's not protected in any way. So any sand or a stone or a chip could easily go through there and crack the glass, which means then you're gonna to have to send this back off to DJI for a repair. So I would say keep one of the UV filters on the front of the drone all the time when you're traveling around so that glass is now fully protected. It also comes with a CPL filter as well. So this is going to reduce reflections on surfaces again. You're also going to be able to adjust the strength of it by turning the wheel, but you could just get this straight out of the pack and put it onto your drone and it's basically like a cheat filter. So you're also going to get a nice pop of color using a CPL filter. And you could basically just put it onto your drone, put it to say minus 0.3 exposure and keep it in auto. So if you're not familiar with any of this jargon, any of these shutter speeds, any of these pro settings, but you just want your footage to look better, better than it does without any ND filter, get this, put it onto your drone, and thank me later. This pack is fantastic. You can get smaller versions of this, but I do like the pack because it's gonna cover you for every different condition. You can just keep this in your camera bag and you've always got every different ND filter that you need when you're out filming. And these are super easy to put on. They just literally clip in place. These just go straight on and clip on and that's on easily and really secure. And they still keep that drone under 250 grams as well. I also have an ND filter guide as part of my Mini 4 Pro cheat sheets. So when you're out filming, if you actually forget which ND filter you should be using at that time, they will help you out. But these are a fantastic accessory for your Mini 4 Pro. I highly recommend them. You should be using these ND filters all the time. Apart from when it's nighttime, then you don't need any ND filter. Then I would just use the light pollution filter. But I hope you enjoyed that video. If you found it helpful, just give that video a like. It really does help out again. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.